I have the award for best recipe Dakazu got from Amunga. This is something I barely talked about last week, but I actually get like a lot of uh, cooking recipes, mostly from like YouTube, but sometimes I get them from Munga. And uh, I have a list of a couple of things that I made from uh, Munga that I would just like to mention. So um, this year I made a simple beef bowl from Cooking Papa. Very good. I also made Hainanese chicken rice from Uotomizu, which is a uh, new manga by Gengoro Tagame. I also made a blue mackerel can curry from Teigakusei Otto no Kozukai Banzai, or Subscription Husband. That's a manga about uh, allowances. Ah, uh, yes. And I made a Mabo Harusame, or uh, Mapo uh, rice noodles from uh, Sake to Hosomichi, which is a classic uh, food manga that I really enjoy. And the winner of this award is... Hainanese chicken rice from Uotomizu by Gengoro Tagame. It is the easiest recipe for Hainanese chicken rice. All you need is chicken thighs, ginger, garlic, uh, chicken soup stock, and a rice cooker. And rice. And it's, uh, it's, it's crazy. Like, my, I, I made it, you know, the first time I made it, I had to adjust some things. And then the second time I made it, I gave it to my wife. And then she now refers to uh, it as, like, oh, the, the chicken rice with the crack sauce. <laughs> because the sauce is so good <laughs> I'm sitting here being like wait Gengoro Tagame is doing food manga I know right it's totally not the realm I think of him in at all yes let the man cook mm-hmm. hey I'm for it but yeah I talked specifically about that last week so just go listen to last week's episode but congratulations Uotomizu by Gengoro Tagame your Hainanese chicken rice recipe is fucking dope and I'm gonna keep making it for a long time scotch for you Hello everybody, this is Dakazu. Darfox has asked me to tape me making the Hainanese chicken rice dish from Gengoro Takame's Uoto Mizu manga that I got. But here, it's my doggie. <laughs> She's scared. Okay, so to make this, you need a rice cooker. So I have washed four cups of rice. Uh, I didn't fully wash it because you want it a little bit more starchy. Uh, over here I have grated ginger and grated garlic. Uh, I'm making four cups because it's for me and my wife and also leftovers, but you should probably just make it for two cups in a rice cooker if you're just making it for yourself. In that case, you want to have about one tablespoon of ginger. I have two uh, because I'm making twice as much and maybe like a half tablespoon of garlic, grated garlic. You can also use like probably use powdered garlic or you know they sell sometimes garlic and ginger in a tube as well but once again I have a uh, for four cups I have two tablespoons of ginger a tablespoon of garlic over here I have about a pound and a quarter of uh, skinless boneless chicken thighs you can use any kind of chicken but uh, I prefer thighs they didn't have a non deboned which is usually all I get, and I just debone it myself. I have salted these with salt, and that's all you have to do to salt both sides. So once your rice is ready, all you have to do is dump in stuff. Uh, this is other extra ginger I'm going to save for later. So I'm going to put in the ginger. Ooh, it's hard to do one-handed. <laughs> I'm going to put in the garlic. Ooh. This. <laughs> Excuse me as I grab this. Yeah. And... I'm also going to be using this chicken bouillon powder. This is the magic stuff. You want to use one of these scoops, which I believe is a teaspoon per cup. I have four cups, so I'll be using four scoops. One. Two. Three. And four. That will make the chicken nice. I mean, the rice nice and chickeny. We get a rice cooker. I mean, we're spatel. So I spatel to mix up everything inside. Easy peasy. Make sure everything is mixed nice and good. Distributed nicely. Okay, looks pretty good. After that. Take your chicken, and you're just going to put the chicken inside the rice. Just lay it. If the skin, if I have the skin, I put the skin side down. 
Just kind of lay it inside. It's a lot more chicken than I usually use, but you know, use as much chicken or as little chicken as you want. I would recommend for the two cups, you have at least a half pound of chicken for good results. But you know, you can put in as much chicken as you want. It doesn't really make that much of a difference, I find. I've done more or less and it all kind of works out. Don't mix once you put the chicken in. It needs to just be left. Now I'm gonna carry this whoo, heavy to my rice cooker. Ugh. Set inside, close, hit the start, and that's it. And I will check back in a bit when it's done. Okay, besides the uh, cooking itself, I've set aside some more grated ginger. This is about, uh, I want to say like a little less than a tablespoon of ginger. And I'm going to make the sauce for the chicken. Uh, there's no exact science, but I would say um, I have sesame oil and I have soy sauce. And I would do one part sesame oil, excuse me, to two parts ginger and two parts soy sauce. So just get this. Yep, that's good. And that's it. Then you mix it up and then you pour on top of chicken. And that is a delicious sauce. My wife calls it crack sauce. Okay, rice cooker is done. Let's take a look. Ooh, delicious. All done. And burning hot. Don't touch that. And there you go. There's the plated product. Just take the rice and put it on your plate. Take the chicken out. Pour the crack sauce on. And how do you use chicken rice? Oh, one more important thing. Turn off your rice cooker when it's done cooking. There you go. Wrong button. You should not leave it running. You should let that cool on its own. There you go. Delicious Hainanese chicken rice with a delicious sauce.